good morning students now i will introduce how to use the worksheet and handouts in mechanics of material unit 4 that is energy method and thick and thin cylinder so worksheet book will be given to you by purchasing this video course so how to use this worksheet is worksheet consists of theory questions which are asked in video examination so in energy methods you can expect the definitions next derive casting bionos theorem strain energy stored within an elastic body subjected to an axial load derive strain energy stored in body due to shear stress next see definition all definitions are written you must go through it at the end of this course the book which is given to you which consists of worksheets and handouts will become notes to you so you can refer quickly or glance at the end of or at the end or the nth moment of the examination so strain energy expression for strain energy so worksheet consists of few important figures and last formula in between space is given to you to write whatever has been thought in the video you can rewrite in your own hand so that it will help you why i have given you the last derivation means that is the thing you must arrive at the end of the problem or derivation so strain energy stored in body due to shear stress figure what is tau phi g everything will be given so sometimes if it is very important in the worksheet derivation has been done from the lecturer if not you must rewrite few points by watching the video to complete the worksheets so casting bionos theorems strain energy way of varying section then problems so given data for first few problems given data is also written and later on only the figure and the problem statement is written you must write your given data on your own start analyzing start thinking and solve the problem on your own or else you can take a support of video lecture to solve the problem so this is about strain energy next is thick and thin cylinder very very important theory questions differentiate between thick and thin cylinder derive an expression for circumferential stress for thin cylinder subjected to an internal pressure or you can expect questions like this so then prove that circumferential stress is equal to two times longitudinal stress so obtain expression for volumetric strain for a thin cylindrical shell of diameter d subjected to internal pressure p etc see here blank pages are left out so to fill by your own hand so problems four or five problems are there then lamis theorem very very important with assumption then three problems so this completes your unit so the book handouts book will be given with this course make use of it all the best